What is going on everybody? I know it's been a while since I threw up a video. I have been working on a new scheme as you saw there in the beginning. Uh, I played Kilo and as this game's running I have the Giants. Uh, my opponent has the Saints and uh, this is basically a lab game. Um, as you saw in the beginning I played Kilo's corner and he whipped me pretty good. He whipped me 49 nothing. and uh, as you know I am going through, uh, you know, putting an ebook to the test right there and make a horrible read. And right now I'm running the Houston Texans offense and uh, Kilo would probably kill me. You know, um, I'm using ranked games as lab games because I really don't care about skill points. I really don't care if I have an 8, a 5, a 10, or 11 right now. It's so late in the year. I just want to be better. I want to have a better plan to my Madden Gaming and also provide you some entertainment right there on the wheel route I hit Ahmad Bradshaw. And the thing with this game is the guy I end up playing becomes a total dirtbag. So as somebody that doesn't care, uh, look at this faggy D. There's not, he's not even rushing one, but you know, give me all day and I'll find somebody and Hakeem Nix, I burn him for the first down. But um, the thing that happens with this game is this guy ends up being such a thirsty skill point whore that I end up really wanting to win the game bad. And the thing is, is I've gone to a new playbook I'm running, um, and this fucking bitch, and I'm sorry, I, I don't usually cuss, but he goes and he, he cheeses me with the blocked extra point, and I, this game is so disappointing, you know, I've been playing it all season long, and you know, I hope Madden 25 fixes a lot of the crap that they have in this game, because it's just ridiculous that 24 years of development have developed this steaming pile of crap, but anyways, so I'm running the Houston Texans offense, <laughs> and when you're putting together a new scheme, both on offense and defense, you know, it doesn't come together all at once at all, you know, it, it actually, it's going to come together in parts, and um, for me, it is coming together in parts, and uh, here's, this is a sick play that I love. I was supposed to hot route that, but on the wheel route, now I know why a lot of the um, pro style um, players use a lot the wheel routes and streaks because they're really effective. And look at look at this cheese ball here, just just trying to block my my extra point. But you know, if you don't snap it right away, that that kind of you know he even gets in, but that kind of takes away there the cheese baller's own. MO, if you will, but you know, it's still some guys that are really good at blocking kicks can just block kicks and it's just it's ridiculous. But here I get a fumble and I pick up the recovery and I'm in business again. So, you know, I already don't like this guy uh, and um, things are going well. But, you know, I really like this scheme. It's very simple. It's very simple to run what Kilo's done. Um, you know, actually this scheme is free. Uh, there's a link to it in one of Mr. Golden Sports videos. And the thing I like about it is it's a mini scheme. So, and that's one of the money plays right there. I'm just, you know, practicing. It's a mini scheme, but um, it leaves room for you to incorporate some of your offensive trends, some of your offensive uh, mindsets, you know, if you want an alternative scheme. So one of the harder things for me in implementing a new scheme is giving up the old scheme that I've worked, you know, five months to, or whatever, four months to develop. So um, on defense, I'm running the Nickel Cobra, but this is not really the Nickel Cobra. I'm just working on the sugar part of that uh, scheme here. And one thing that kind of um, bothered me about this guy is you see there, he was doing that same play action the whole time and there, I get an interception off of it because I backed off coverage in the sugar scheme. And here the game pauses. And here I get a wonderful little love note from this guy. And that was, that play that got in on him on that play action was actually a will punch three seam. And I did not do any setups. And here he says, like, you're about to get raped, you pussy ass man. He's calling me a cheater, okay? Like that's what I hate about Madden. I would say that probably, you know, 60% of the people that you play online are dirt bags. And that's the sad part of the state of people in general, that most people are so competitive and such a-holes that they don't want to play the right way. So Madden has to come up with something to make this user experience better. Unless, I mean, I guess maybe they'll let the majority rule. But here I do the smart thing and I take the points. And now this goes from a lab game situation 
to now I want to beat this guy. And of course, he comes out in the onside kick and he gets it. So, for me, I make the right decisions and I get punished for them. That, that's the one thing I hate about, again, I'm, I'm going off about Man 13 is, it doesn't reward you for making the good decisions and it doesn't punish you for making bad decisions. And now I was up, uh, I was gonna be up nine with the ball, but, and I come out in the onside recover and he still gets it because this game is such crap. So anyways, it really should be, there should be fair play. Um, and there he drops the touchdown. There, there should be fair play where you could override the fair play settings at least once in the game so that if, yeah, say sometimes, I remember one of the weaknesses of fair play in the old version and here he falls for the same um, trick right there with the, uh, the sugar uh, scheme there where I dropped the linebackers into coverage. But one of the things that really bothered me throughout the later in the game is I do the same play but um, the asshole linebacker start biting on the play action even though I would set them up as in pass coverage. But here, I'm up nine with the ball. I'm already mad at this guy and I want to do the right thing and just run some clock. Are you kidding me? And I hand over the ball there and a mod branch off on and now we have a game. And in one play basically he goes right down the field and he gets a touchdown and then he goes for the onside and then he gets it and basically if you go back and look through the stats of this game Eli Manning threw for about 457 yards six touchdowns zero picks I didn't make any mistakes on offense and yet he is in a position to take the lead right there he gets down deep and it's such bull crap, you know, because I do the right thing and try to run the ball, run clock, smart thing, and because of a CPU big hit or whatever crap this AI comes up with, I get uh, the fumble. So I come out on onside recovery, he tries a cheesy ass squib kick. This guy is such a cheesy dick bag. I hope that everybody remembers this guy's name when you watch the video and sends him a message and tells him he's a hog smoking faggot. Um, not, that, not that there's anything wrong with that. You know, that if you wanted. You know, see, I'm still working on a new scheme, so I'm not running every play to perfection, you know. I'm, I'm just trying to stay in there. But, you know, I, I guess you can blame me for using lab games, as, and I had Nick's there wide open, and Eli Manning's arm uh, got hit for using ranked games as lab games. But, you know, to me, I want to test this stuff out, and the only way to put together a scheme is to do it incrementally and get better in there. I'll be taking those huggies and whatever cash you got back there. Rivers does it again, gets him with the same play. So now I'm back in the game. I was down a touchdown and he was uh, uh, gonna get the ball and uh, maybe score on me, but I get the ball back because I was smart enough to run the same defense and this guy was actually a pretty cruddy player if you ask me. But you know, I, I feel like it, you know if I had gone with my comfortable old scheme, I think I, I probably could have just beaten this guy. Oh, oh, there, Nick drops the ball. But, you know, I, this scheme, I'm getting better with it. And right there, I find Bennett on the street. And it's time to take a lead. Oh, I do have the lead already. So I go for two. And I go for the money play, but I had I didn't rearrange my depth chart properly. You know, when you're implementing a new scheme and a new and when you're using ebooks, you definitely have Um, you definitely have to pay attention. You definitely have to go through a sequence. You definitely, nothing replaces lab time. Nothing replaces practice time. Nothing replaces game experience. So for me, I don't have a lab account to really um, go in and do rank games. But, um, you know, I, I'll just use my account because really I'm preparing for Madden 25. You know, I want to have a game plan that works. And of course, it'll all be different <laughs> And, you know, when all the money plays that were there. And here I try to onside this dirtbag because I want to try to end the game in the fourth quarter. You know, if somebody's going to cheese you, you got to cheese them back, and which which is just horrible. It's a horrible way to, to play a game. It's just, it's pathetic. It really is. And, you know, if, if uh, Madden has some, some playability squad made up of complete tool bags, which, you know, that, look at that. You know, I think whatever team that they've put together that is supposed to evaluate the game, of course, if they are guys that play ranked games or have a reputation to uphold, they're going to keep 
glitchiness in the game so that they'll know that the glitches are there and exploit them. I mean, if, if you're, if you make antivirus software, wouldn't you want to put out a virus every once in a while to keep your job safe? Duh. So anyway, um, I, again, this scheme is, I think once I get it down and start executing properly, uh, it, it pretty much is, is a great way to get down the field. I mean, look, I, I'm putting up points at will, and uh, the next couple games, I, I've started to add in a better sequence on defense, and, and it really, it, it breaks down, you know, the way that Kilo has the um, books written, man, these setups are just, they're lethal, and he burns me there on that same cheese and ass play again, and, and he goes up by six. He goes ahead and kicked off to me. Oh, thank you for the gift. Shithead. Cocksucker. Whatever. Sorry. I'm, I'm cursing. But this guy just made me angry. And then here I have Nyx there wide open. But to me, like, this this scheme really has a lot of money plays, a lot of deep plays. You know, even though it's a single back set and it's short. Um, you know, look at this right here. The wheel route. And Victor Cruz is just gone. And he misses horrible use right there so I do take the lead right here with about a minute 27 but I think I just left him too much time and you know this thirsty ass dude thirsty for, for cat uh, you know he gets down one time and I try to take away uh, I, I should have been done, done a better job a user in that inside pass lead but he gets down and uh, basically uh, that's gonna be the end of the game you know fast forward he gets it down and he runs off clock and kicks the field goal but really uh, this is just the first phase of my putting ebooks to the test and as you can see that offense is potent I don't normally put up 50 point games so thanks for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed uh, play fast to win I hope you all find him uh, lower his um, uh, <laughs> player rating look how bad his rep is already you know and here I do the same. So I suggest you do the same because karma is a bitch and just uh, avoid this player. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this Mike Tyson style video. Five points. I am out. He's going to drop back and he heaves it up like Kate Upton's huge boobie.